Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with your hammer curls. So we're gonna do um, four by eight of the hammer curls and three by eight of the single arm tricep extensions. So what you wanna do with your weight is we're gonna grab our weights and we're gonna lock our elbows to our sides. I prefer a staggered stance and that keeps your core nice and solid because we don't wanna be moving back just to pick up this weight. So we're gonna go up for two count and down for four count, okay? And nice loose grip, so the key um, of a hammer curl is not to go to the shoulder, so you'll see my elbow just left my side. You need to keep your elbow down here so this is as high as you can go up. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do that. So two count up, four count down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, one more. Eight. Nice. Now we're going to go into the single arm tricep extension. So Shannon's going to show you. Why don't you go ahead and face that way, Shannon? Okay. She's going to bring one arm above her back and then she's going to bring her elbow up. And... Oh, no, go ahead and do it. And, no, you're good. And then you're going to hold the weight this low. She's going to use her other arm to keep her um, elbow back. We're going to go up for two count and down for eight. Or, sorry, down for four. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and go. And down for four. Nice. One. Keep that staggered stance, stomach tight. Two. Good. Three. Remember, you might have to lift lighter for this. It's a very difficult move. Four. Especially a single arm already. Five. Six. Seven, and eight, nice. Let's go ahead and face that way, Shannon, for a moment. Let's do the other side. Elbow up, next to your head, hold it there. Let's go up for two minutes. One, so if you, the rest of her body is still, she's just using her arm. Two. Three. or if you're doing this at home, stability ball works great because you just want something to drape your arms over to get that full extension and bring it up. So we're gonna grab our stability balls and then we'll have our weights. So we'll go ahead and um, we'll face this direction. Okay. So they can see the side view of what it looks like, okay? So, um, so I'm gonna show you a normal Zotman curl. And then Shannon's gonna show you a modified, because some people can't quite do the reverse turn of the Zotman curl yet, and that's okay. Um, but eventually you'll get there. And in the meantime, you'll still work your biceps. Right. So, what you're gonna do is grab your weights. So you'll see my legs are nice and wide to keep me nice and stable and sturdy on the stability ball. And then I'm hanging over the ball. And so I'm gonna come up for two count, rotate, and go down. And that's a Zotman curl. So, and then you'll see Shannon, she's going to go up for two counts, and then she's going to go down for four counts, staying in that same position, so she's not doing the reverse four counts. That's okay. We also want to remember to keep a loose grip also with these, 
So in the shotgun curl, you can keep a loose grip on the way up, but you do have to kind of hold trying to keep it so hard on the way down. And the way Shannon's doing it, because she's doing that, she can keep it nice and loose in those hands to really engage those biceps. So we're going to go ahead and start with that. Those reps don't count. <laughs> Darn okay. It. So we're going to go ahead and begin. So two count down, four count up. So let's go ahead and go. Oh, I did that wrong. So we're going to start that again. Three more. 
Try to keep those legs straight. Some of you don't have that flexibility and not able to keep it straight. So just go as straight as you can and point those toes. And the goal is to try and keep those legs straight the whole time. And we're just gonna toss the block between the legs while moving them. But try to think about pointing the toe. So we're gonna do 20 reps. Are you ready? And then if you get tired um, and you feel like your lower back's getting involved, um, you can bend your knees slightly and do it between bent knees. <laughs> So if Shannon we'll see decides that to go that, she will show you how that goes. Okay, so let's bring those legs up, point those toes, and let's go ahead and go for 20. One, two, three, four, relax that head, five, six, seven, point those toes, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, is a reaching setup. So what you're gonna do is you really want to have your arms above your head. I can do it right now, but I may have to go here. Where you wanna be is your arms above your head, and then you're gonna sit up and reach. Um, and then Shannon's gonna do the modified version. She's gonna do crunches. If you're able, unable to do that right now, you want to put your hands behind your head. Let your head rest in your hands. That way you're not using your neck. Keep those uh, elbows out. And you're just going to keep an orange between your chin and chest. And you're going to face the ceiling. And you're going to crunch and you're going to feel that squeeze. So you don't want to just quickly go through it. You want to feel that squeeze. Um, if you tend to feel your neck in either of these moves, you can put your tongue to the roof of your mouth. That's one little trick. And that helps you straighten your neck too. Okay, you ready to start this one? I'm ready. Okay, so if you can, make sure your hands go above your head every time. I might not be able to do it the whole time, like I said, with my shoulder. But let's go ahead and do this. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Remember, keep that orange between the chin and chest. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more. 20. That left is our leg raises, so we'll show you the versions of those. So you can have your hands underneath your glutes, toes pointed up. You only come down as low as you can with control. So this is as far as you can go without using lower back. That's as far as you can go. So don't get your lower back involved, but go as low as you can without getting that back involved. There's also a modification. So Shannon's going to show you that one. You're going to have the bent knees, and you're going to bring it down. You're going to tap those toes to the floor. So start there if that's where you have to start because you want to work the abs. We're not here to hurt the lower back. So, so don't have an eagle here. Just do, do what you can do, and then you'll just continue to move through. All there is to it. That's right. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with the leg raises. So let's go ahead and get in position. And... Point those toes, keep those legs straight when you're doing the normal leg raises, okay? And let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, 20, Woo 